Step 1. Download the 3CX phone application from the link above. Step 2. If you will be using a USB headset with the application, install it and any accompanying software that comes with it prior to installing the cell phone. After your USB headset and software are installed and configured, launch the installer application and follow the directions provided in the installer. Step 3. Once the installer has completed, launch the 3CX phone application. Step 4. The 3CX phone can be prepared for use with a few simple steps. When it first launches, it will not have your account information installed, and it will make basic assumptions about your audio devices you will want to use for it. When the application launches, use your mouse to push the round button on the bottom of the phone. On the main menu screen, select the Preferences button. Step 5. In the Preferences panel, you can configure the soft phone to work with your computer. Select the microphone and speaker you want to use to make calls. Using the speakers on your computer for ringing will allow you to hear when you have incoming calls without wearing a headset. If you have a webcam, you can select it as a video source, which will allow you to make two-way video calls. You can set the 3CX phone to launch when you turn on your computer. When you have completed the setting, click OK and the window will close. Step 6. Once you have configured the soft phone to work with your computer, we will install one or more of your SIP phone accounts on it. On the main menu page, select Accounts. You can also get to the Accounts page by clicking the Type in the upper right hand portion of the phone screen, which will at this point say Set Accounts. Step 7. The Accounts window will open. Select the new account line and click Edit. Step 8. A new blank account settings window will open and we will fill in information. Enter your account information as indicated below. 1. The account name. No one will see this but you. It will display in the upper right hand corner of the phone screen and will let you know which account is currently selected to make calls. Set this to be something meaningful for you. In this case, we set the name to be Home Office. 2. The caller ID. This is the name that the person you call will see. Not all caller ID displays will show this. This should not be your phone number as that will display separately. Set this to be something meaningful or leave it blank. 3. Extension. This is used by the 3CX IP PBX to identify its extensions. In our case, you will enter your SIP account number. This account number will be a 10 digit number starting with 999 and needs to be entered exactly as it was provided to you. 4. ID. Enter your SIP account number. This account number will be a 10 digit number starting with 999 and needs to be entered exactly as it was provided to you. This entry identifies your account to our server. 5. ID. Enter your SIP account password. This entry is case sensitive. Enter the password associated with the SIP account you are using for this entry exactly as it was provided to you. 6. Select I am out of the office, external IP, and enter sip.globalcommunicationsnetwork.net into the provided field. 7. Select Use Outbound Proxy Server and enter sip.globalcommunicationsnetwork.net into the provided field. 8. Select OK to save this data and close this dialog box. Step 9. Your phone is now configured to use this account to make calls. You can receive multiple calls on this line and each successive incoming call will appear on the line button on the phone display. It is not necessary to install multiple accounts on the 3CX phone, but you can install more numbers. If for instance you wish to use one account for business calls and a second for personal calls, we provide a monthly invoice which details all the calls made on each line. 
and you can also monitor your calls for each line online. If you want to install a second line, continue these instructions. Otherwise, jump ahead to 11. To add an additional SIP number to this phone, select the new button, otherwise click OK to complete the account setup process. In adding additional accounts, follow all the following instructions in step 8. Except that you will want to use a unique identifying name for each of your accounts so that you can keep track of which one you are using to make calls. 1. Enter the SIP account information for a different SIP account into the extension and ID fields. 2. Enter the password associated with the account number you are using to enable this account as well. Step 11. Your accounts are now shown on the accounts dialog box. You can close this box and complete the setup process and you will be ready to make calls on your phone. Click the OK button once you are done to save these changes. Step 12. To select between accounts, you can select any of the line buttons. Each time you click a line button, a new account will be selected. To dial a call, simply enter the number you want to call either on the phone keypad or on your computer keyboard using either the normal keys or the numerical keypad keys. If you make a mistake in dialing, you can press the backspace key on your keyboard and re-enter the correct number. When you enter a number, the phone icon will turn green. When the number is ready to dial, you can press the phone icon, which will turn red. Take the line off the hook and dial your call. You can also select a line or press the phone icon before dialing to take the line off hook, then dial your number. This is dialing live. Like on a phone company line, the disadvantage of this is that if you misdial, the backspace key will not help you. You can now make a phone call. You can place a free call to another network number by dialing the 10 digit number starting with 999. Do not dial a 1 first. You can place a call to a traditional landline or mobile phone by dialing either 1 plus the area code and number for calls to the US or Canada or the country code, area code, and number for calls worldwide. Step 13. At the bottom of the phone, there are a number of icons. The photo below explains what they do. While some of the buttons are obvious, we will explain how some of the others work in the next few optional steps. Step 14. The Call History button will display this dialog box, which will show you all the calls made on the phone since you last cleared the list. You can display all calls or sort them by account, and you can display all types of calls or sort them by type. Step 15. The Miss Calls button will display all of the calls you have missed and will present them on your phone display as buttons. Pushing the button for a missed call will have your phone call that number back. Click the round button on the bottom of the phone to return to the main phone display. Step 16. The phone book button will open the phone book display on your phone. Press the plus button to add a new entry. Step 17. You have separate phone books for each account installed on your phone. Select which account you would like to associate with the new entry. Click the close button to close this dialog box and move to the next menu. Step 18. The phone book contact page will open and you can enter the data about your contact and add a picture of your contact if you wish. The picture will display on your phone screen when you make your call. Click new to add a new phone number for this contact. Step 19. Enter the information for this new contact number. The name will display on your phone when you place your call and the number is the number that will connect to the contact. To enter a network number, use the 10 digit number starting with 999. Do not dial a 1 first.
to program a call to a traditional landline or mobile phone by enter either 1 plus the area code and number for calls to the US or Canada, the country code, area code, and number for calls worldwide otherwise. Click the OK button once you are done to save these changes. Step 20. You can enter as many phone contacts for this entry as you would like. Click the OK button once you are done to save these changes. Step 21. Your new contact will display in your phone book as a button. Clicking on the button will dial the contact. You can view the full contact information by selecting the folder icon at the bottom of the display. In the detailed display, clicking on the email address will open your email program and address an email to the contact. Clicking on a specific contact phone number will initiate a call to the number. Step 22. Pressing the call recording button during a call will cause the call to be recorded for the duration of the call or until you press the button again and the call will be saved to your computer's hard disk. Step 23. By pressing the call record button while the phone is on hook, you can change the settings for the recording. You can listen to any recording by selecting it and pressing the listen button. Click the OK button once you are done to save these changes. Step 24. The voicemail button will connect to the server to allow you to retrieve any voice messages you may have. The icon will be highlighted if you have messages waiting. The first time you press the button, the voicemail number dialog box will open. In this box, enter 98, which is the code used to access your voicemail from any network number. Step 25. The 3CX phone makes it easy to transfer calls. You can choose between blind transfer and attend transfer. Blind transfer. 1. While you are on a call, click on the transfer button and enter the number you want to transfer the call to. 2. Click on the dial button, the green button, to perform the transfer attended transfer. 1. While you are on a call, click on line 2, which will automatically put the call on hold. 2. Now dial the number you want to transfer the call to and announce call to the callee. 3. To transfer the call, click the transfer button, followed by the line 1 button, which will be flashing. The call will be transferred. Step 26. That is just about it. You can change the mode of any account by selecting the available status display indicated below. Each time you select it will show switch between available, indicating that you are ready to take calls, D&D, &D, which is do not disturb, and will indicate that the phone is not available, and will either forward incoming calls or send the calls to the voicemail depending on the settings you have selected for your account, auto ands, which will automatically answer an incoming call as soon as it rings, and auto VM, which will send all of your incoming calls directly to voicemail regardless of your default account settings. This account settings to all of the accounts on your phone, so it is necessary to set them separately. Enjoy your new phone service. We believe you'll find it will provide very high quality calls, great features, and that you will save a lot of money on every call you make. Thank you.